I can't tell you what it is. I can only tell you what it feels like. And right now it's a still night in my windpipe. I can't breathe, but I still fight. Hey guys, <clears throat> Shannon this busy here to continue our adventure. Last time we finally got into the Pokemon world and we met another Pokemon called Nesleaf. Now, and he took us to his village. Let's get to it. Chapter 2. Oh yeah, meeting Haley. <clears throat> Let's see. I reckon we're here. This is my house. This here's my house. Let's do it. This way. Here you are. You can bunk down in this room for now. May not be much. I take it, at, but take it as you will. And well, as for the rest of it, what do you reckon gonna do? Hmm. I wonder how why them be him or coming after you like that. But I wonder in this wonder in the world won't give me nothing but a headache. We could get some answers if in your memory recovery comes back. But until then, you can just stay here. Sound good? Yep. I wouldn't tell any other folks in the village about them behem, though. I might scare them off. Uh, let's see. Huh? That's right. You're a school age, looks of you. So I guess, so I reckon I should get you to the enroll in the village school. People want to hear more about you. If there aren't going to be a school at your age. So let's just agree to get you to go you go to school in the time being, alright? I reckon I'll go and get you took care of right away. So don't you so don't you stick one to outside this house until I get back, you hear? Uh-huh. You hear? Now you're not to go outside. Not even a mistake or nothing. Sure. Alright. Huh? What's that noise? Yeah, whoa! Crunch, 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 crunch. Something's outside. It could be those be him. Oh, I thought we lost him once and for all, but... Okay. Okay. Time to run. Ah! Huh? I don't see you out here, but can't let my guard down. Not, not at all. I'm not careful then. Huh? I knew it. Huh? Hug? Huh? I knew my eyes weren't playing tricks on me. I totally saw you go into Mr. Nosley's just now. Are you... Who are you? What's your name? Oh, well, my name... I'm Haley. I live nearby with my old pops. That house... That house right there. Where are you from? Are you seriously Mr. Nosley's kid or anything, are you? Like, that could even happen. <laughs> Alright, so... But this is your first time here, isn't it? In that case, I'll show you around with this place. Come on. Huh? Wait, what? What did you say your name was? Oh, wait, I didn't ask you that already. I asked you, I didn't I? Oh, you see, huh? I see, you're Shan, huh? Sorry about that. I went to ask and not even give you a chance to answer. Hmm, am I annoying? You're totally thinking about how annoying I am, right? I am right now. I am right now, huh? Yeah? Oh, quit it, sheesh! Give me a break, you big milk tank! <laughs> See? I did a joke, a little joke. With the milk tank. <laughs> okay? Which leads us to... Ta-da! Here she is, Serene Village. Another harp of his plaza here.
You may not look much, but we got most of the facilities here. Over there is their deposit box. You can deposit your items in, in there and take them out again later. The Mr. Cackleon shop. They give all sides of items there. Yeah, probably too much to take it all at once, so I'll tell you if it's still in turn. Let's start. We've got. There you are, Haley. Huh? Eh, Lombre! So this is where you've been. You're the one who tramped all over my Lucius Pond, didn't you? It, it wasn't like that. I was trying to have a little adventure. Hey, stop it, Zaya. Ah, uh, Hippopotas! You're the one, the one that went to my cave, didn't you? And what's more, you have the treasure to hidden inside, didn't you? I don't know, I was exploring a dungeon that happened, huh? Uh... Well, you know what happens when you gotta warn yourself clearing a dungeon, right? Stop right there, Haley. Pops! Oh ho! Oh, it's me old man Caracosta. There, you loitering child. Where have you been towards back home, eh? Had a whole plane hooky again and wander around, eh? No, Pops, isn't the reason this time. I know you've been snacking on warm berries in my field again. Have not. You have. Have not. I want the truth from you, child. <laughs> yeah, I did eat them. They were delicious. Uh. Hey, I see Haley over there. Everybody, Haley's been sighted. Ah! I'll die you, I won't catch you. Come on, we're coming to get you. Oh my. <laughs> uh. What in the world was that I just witnessed? Okay, I ended up behind, but since I'm here anyway, I might as well get a look around. Alright, pro tip. You are now in the town of village. You can, you can save the game, go into the X in the menu. Inside, the dungeon, inside a dungeon, you can always use known as a progress device to save your game. Okay, since I don't have a progress device, I can't do that. Oh, new customer. Welcome, welcome. Ah, uh, boy, you're a kid. Eh, not, not, not that's, that's a problem. Anyone's welcome, as long as you, they pay up. Anyway, then. So that, when, so in that vein, welcome to the Tangy Lunch Shop. How can I may help you? Uh, buy items? We only have 69, so we're not going to get tiny reviver seeds or anything like that. But... <laughs> I might be able to get other stuff, but not right now. I'm gonna save for later. Oh, uh oh. Alright, let's see what in here. Items. Deposit. Yeah, I have enough app. I need a tiny reviver seed, but I already have an app, so let's do it. Oh. Huh? What's going on over there? <laughs> what did Gumi did? Yeah. Well, he's insisting on going. Have no excuses, Shelmet. Tell me the truth. You and Panchen pushed him inside into this, didn't you? Oh, that's no fair, darling. He's the one that wanted to go. Can you stand up late here and blame us? Quit easily. You and you're the ones who are always teasing poor Gumi, after all. Someday you're going to get too far, and then there's no sorries then. Eh, I, I know that. No need to fuss so much. Where are you going to show me there anyway? Right now. Oh my. Doesn't sound good. Those two kids. They must have been in the village too, huh? I wonder what's going on. They seem to petty tense about something. I'm gonna go after the kids. <laughs> I can't help worry about those kids. Uh, about the children? Yes. <laughs> he still hasn't come back out? 
<laughs> yeah, that's right. He's pretty long time, too. He knew he was a total wimp. He's no surprise there. He should ought to admit he, what a wimp he is and he kept his mouth shut. <laughs> we had a go talk, and go, a talk, go and talk big, but he, like he could handle this kind of place. And he boasted saying, I'll show you. That's the way they got him into this mess. He's probably huddling up somewhere in the forest, petrified and sniffing back tears. <laughs> You're so mean, Pancham. Gumi isn't even the same age as us yet. Yeah, but he is the one who talks big, got what's coming to him. We figure teach him a little something about how harsh the world is. And if something happened to him there, what are you gonna do then, huh? I'm going after them. Him. No way, not you're not going in there, darling. Something happened to you. We can't let anything happen to our idol. We're not letting you go and step foot in such place. You're kidding me. Fine then, you go after him. Uh, you want us to go? Into the foreboding forest? <laughs> no way. What are we gonna do with that? No, uh, and that means that we're not scared or anything like that. I, I don't, I don't want to go to getting the wrong idea or whatever. You understand, right? Hmm? Who's this? Haven't I seen you around before? Where did you come from? You're not from the village. Huh? What's the matter, Skitty? Got your tongue? Um, well, don't go under understand you if you're gonna never speak up. What should I do? Even I overheard some stuff they're saying. I guess I have to go gimme kid. You go after Gumi? Yes. Yeah. I can't shake that this feeling. I'll do it. Huh? What? You go after they're in there for us? Are you sure about this? You know this is a place that's super scary, right? Hell well, you're uh, if you wanna go and all, I guess you're gonna stand not gonna stand in your way. But it's no skin off our backs if you get into any trouble in there. Are you sure this, you're up to this? Where was Gumi trying to go anyway? He's gonna get far in. I said there was a there is a big old piece of paper in in the forest, so not far from the entrance. A piece of paper? When Pancham and I were exploring the forest, there you see. We were brought a like a tarp, so we had something to sit on, and we got jumped by a whole bunch of scary Pokemon. Man, it was awful. <laughs> you should have seen Phantom's face. Still remember that cracks me up. <laughs> Good uh, Back at the point, you guys left that piece of paper there, isn't that? So Gumi's trying to find it. Yeah. We told him to find a piece of paper and write his name on the back and then bring it back. If he does that, then he we is we'd said we admit that he has some real goods. I'm sorry about this. I think you've got a piece of picture now. Would you willing to help? Be careful in there. You know what? I'm just gonna do regular voices like for my real voice, I'm guessing. It'd be much easier. I was doing my regular voice instead of all these other voices. I'm not very old. I'm not very good at all those voices because I can't remember all of them, you know? The other thing we. Oh! Uh... I don't have a petrifier, do I? Oh yeah, I do. Oh, 
Oh, Electro Ball was upgraded. Nice! This is like the back back when I was playing Super the Mystery Dungeon Gate to Infinity. But I am going to play Mystery Dungeon Gate to Infinity after I beat like half of the game. Like if I beat the game and stuff because I'm at the ending point. There we go. I wish I leveled up in here, but still. Um, yeah. Technically, I'm gonna play all the games I have my on my DS before I do them all. Before I start playing on another system, another game, and all that. There, that's what he did. Alright, now we got that back to normal. Oof. Scared the crap out of me if I fainted in here. Oof. I do want to do funny voices, but I'm guessing I'm just regular voices will be mine. Like for me, like I would do want to do Nuzly's voice, but the rest of them will just be normal. And Haley's voice I'm gonna do too, so yeah. I'm just gonna do regular voices for the school children and the rest of them, but um, Nuzly and Haley will be different, or something like that. Oh, there he is. Uh, why did I come here? I'm so scared. Huh? This piece of paper that Shalman and Pancham are talking about. It's written on it. Oh, quit writing. Letters sort of squiggly and all, sort of hard to read, but I know it's to read. I can read them. Gloomy. That's what it looks like. I see. Which definitely means this kid and must, this kid the Gumi is what they're talking about. Gumi has made it all the way here, even if throw his name on it as they told him. It took real courage. Uh huh? 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 You you came to help me? Mm-hmm. Oh oh uh, I'm so scared. Huh? Actually came made it back? Oh, you brought the paper back too. You wrote your name on it? Hmm? Huh? What's this writing? It's sloppy all over the place. It's not sloppy! <laughs> too funny. I bet you were scared and shaky when you, it, you to even write, write properly. <laughs> this is hilarious. Come on, let's go show this to everyone. See ya, suckers! Ah, you two! Well, I had it up with them, and I had, and you too, Gumi. I'm glad you made it bad, okay? But what was it if there had it been anyone around to help? Uh, sorry, dearling. I just wanted to sh have them like I had a real guts too. 
Well, at least those... Well, those two are just glad you're doing something crazy. You can't listen to them. Well, you did give it... You, you had that for sure. But dearling... You made it that far in the forest alone? You wrote your name on it just as they asked? Even though it's writing is sloppy? It's not sloppy! And... It's really thanks to you and Goom that Gumi got here in one piece today. I really do owe you thank you. Um... Hmm... I have heard... Never did you forget your name, didn't you? Oh! Oh, here it is. Alright, watch out. What? After I done told you not to leave the house. I done and told you to stay inside until I go home, but did I not? Uh, yeah. You best learn to mind your elders next time. But, well, I ain't gonna cap I ain't gonna stand the itch and the wider the world out there. I reckon it must be you're new to you after all. It's a fine feeling to have love or adventure in your heart. Growing ups do the same always saying you can't do this and you can't do that or other. But things are in life around you le ever learn. Never learn uh, except for experiencing them for yourself. I reckon I I'm pretty lax when it comes to adventuring and let have what I have you. I need a drink, man. So I get the hackering and the venturing all around the village. You go right ahead. It has leaf. But then tomorrow morning you'll be attending class at the local school. So you tuck in early tonight after your bit big first day. Yeah, that sounds cool. Uh guys, I think that's it for the day. Not today, but I'm gonna make sure that I play this game all the way through. But, until next time, this is going to be a good adventure to start, stop right now. So, I hope I guys see you later in the next time of Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. See you later.